Hello guys, welcome to another second video. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to create users and groups on TrueNAS Core. So without further ado, let's begin this tutorial. Okay, so as you can see I'm at the TrueNAS Core uh, login page, so I'm just going to type in my username and password now. And as you can see, I'm at the dashboard. So in order to do this, we're just going to go over to the top left hand side of our screen, go down to see accounts. And first of all, we're going to press on users. So as you can see, we currently have one user, which of course is the user root, which is the one that I just logged in with, as you can see. So in order to make another user, we're simply just going to click the add button and here we have our um, account uh, set up so we're going to type it in now so we're going to call it nti true nas core 2 and we're just going to call this nti2 for the username the email is going to be nti2 at n.com or at nti.com actually let's just do this one no tech info dot com sure we'll make it dot com why not and uh, password will just be uh, random so we'll just say um, password one okay I'm gonna confirm that now perfect perfect so now we're going to set our user ID. I'm going to set the IDs starting from number 6000. There is no current groups because we have not made a group yet. So now we're going to create the directories. Of course, there's nothing happened as of yet because we actually haven't made our storage uh, at this point. So these are the home directory permissions. Of course, the user can, of course, read, write, and execute all of the files within his home directory. As you can see, if you click on these uh, icons over here, it'll also show uh, extra, um, I'd say, hints that will allow you to understand the system a little bit better. So, with that, we can now see uh, the authentication. So we have SSH, we can disable our passwords, and we can, of course, uh, have other things like this. So, for instance, locking the user, which means it's obviously locked. Uh, more information here, we can prevent the user from logging in. Permit sudo, so this is obviously the root access. So, like, you know, when you go onto Ubuntu, you have the command sudo. This is the same thing here. Microsoft account is more or less, I'm assuming, just, yeah, you can uh, allow, you can be allowed to connect um, using Windows 8 or new operating systems. And Samba is just simply uh, the network-based drive. So with that, we can now click on Submit. And you can see we now have NTI2. So now we're going to create a new group. Uh, you can see there are already, uh, by default there is just NTI2 because it has its own group, because it has its own user. So we're going to click add, and now we're going to create our new group. So I'm going to make the ID for this one 7000, and I'm just going to call it NTI video. Oh, it has to be NTI video group. And we'll just keep it all at default here. Once again, permitting sudo, so admin commands, uh, samba, and GIDs, which is just group identification. And now, we can come submit. And now, just to make sure, we're going to go into the actual group itself. And we can see that the members of this uh, group. We're going to click on NTI2 and just click there and click on save. 
and as you can see, he's not a member of the group. And if we go back into users, I'm going to NTI2. Might have to go into the actual user itself. We can see that uh, he's part of the, uh, the group here, NTI video group. You can also set the primary group to, for instance, let's say NTI video group as well. So all the permissions from that group are assigned to the user. And as you can see, all is well. And that's it. Hopefully this video has been helpful. If you would like to request a video, please leave your comments in the comment section below. Or you can check out our Discord server, Twitter and Instagram pages, which are the links in the video description. Join us next time where I'll be teaching you how to use the system tab. And we're going to start by looking at the general system tab. So with that, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.